Ooh, all right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Max, this is Max Codes. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use UI uh, search controller and UI search bar delegate, all right? So let's get started by creating a new Xcode project. I'm gonna choose single view app and I'm gonna call this I'm gonna call this uh, search controller and delegate. Uh, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna put it in my YouTube apps directory. Yeah, put it wherever you want, obviously. And I'm gonna leave some room over here for the video. So you, you're probably seeing my face down there already, but um, yeah, this is our new project. Uh, nothing's changed, but first thing I wanna do is get rid of this comment. And I wanna say view.backgroundcolor is equal to dot white. And then what I'm gonna do is go into app delegate and I wanna boot everything up for my app delegate, okay? So this is gonna be a bit uh, confusing maybe for a second, but just follow along, write the code as I do and you'll be fine, okay? So we wanna create our view controller. So let's say let view controller is equal to UI view controller. And then let's initialize our window, right? And then we'll say window is equal to UI window. And then we'll say window dot make key invisible and then window dot root view controller is equal to view controller okay so go ahead and run that and you're gonna see basically a blank application okay so i'm booting it up i don't want to run it on my phone i want to run it on the iphone xr simulator all right I'm back. Okay, so basically what we're seeing is we're seeing a black screen. Let's see why that is. It's because we're saying UI view controller, we're not saying view controller like this, our actual view controller. So change that to view controller with capital V. That way we're actually using the one we have initialized in here, okay? So just make sure you get these four lines in. That's all we've really done so far, except for the white background color. And that's our app so far, okay? So next thing we're gonna do is we are going to basically um, set up our navigation controller, okay? Because that's what we need to even get this uh, available. We need a navigation controller and a tab bar to make this even work. So let's say let nav controller is equal to UI navigation controller, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna say root view controller is view controller, okay? So I'm taking this view, view controller and making it the root view controller, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, give it a title. So we'll say nav controller dot, and then it's navigation item dot title. And we'll just say whatever you wanna put there. I'll put max codes. And then I'm gonna put right here, nav controller dot tab bar item dot title. And then I'll put there like UI search uh, video, like the tutorial, right? Just the name of what we're doing, okay? Now, that's all good, but now we need to put it in a tab controller. So just stand by. We'll call it, we'll say let tab controller is equal to UI tab controller. And then we'll put this with the empty initializer. And then we'll say tab controller dot view controllers is equal to, and then we'll put nav controller in there. Okay. And then now what we'll do is we'll swap this right here, the root view controller with tab controller. Okay. So Again, a little bit uh, foreign to some of you maybe, but um, it's kind of a weird setup, but once you understand how these all work together, that's that's it's pretty easy to use, okay? All right, so right now, um, what I meant to do is say not nav controller on the second one, but view controller, okay? Now let's reload this application, okay? And what we're gonna see is basically an empty uh, tab bar controller with a navigation controller in it with a title, okay? Max codes and UI search tutorial. Now you can put an image in there, in here, right here, but I'm not gonna do that. But basically it's like what would you see, what you would see on Instagram or something like the profile or whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're aware of what I'm talking about, okay? So now we're finally getting around to what this video even is, is even covering. Uh, which is the UI search controller and UI, um, whatever it's called, the UI search bar delegate, the search bar delegate, okay? I think that's what it's called. We're gonna figure it out, okay? These things kind of just come to me, come back to me when I'm using them, 
Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, let's initialize our, our search controller. So let's say let search controller is equal to UI search controller. And then for the search results controller, just put nil. You have to use this initializer or it won't work. And by the way, I learned this from Brian at, over at Let's Build That App, his channel. Um, go to one of his videos and just leave a comment saying that I uh, mentioned him or something. I don't know if, if you want to do that. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to say navigation item dot search controller is equal to search controller. Okay, so we're basically just setting the search controller of the view controller to this search controller. Now you could do this in the app delegate, but that would be just kind of messy. Uh, we'd rather just do it in here, right? So what I'm saying here is we could even put this here, this view controller dot navigation item dot title is equal to max codes. We could put that in our view controller, but we're not going to. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna just reload the application and see what we got. It should be working and this is without the delegate, okay? So very basic, but we're not really gonna be able to keep track of our, our text, right? See, we we're doing this, but it's not really doing anything, okay? So let's go ahead and keep track of our text by using the UI search bar delegate, okay? So put a comma up here next to UI view controller on line 11, and let's say UI search bar delegate, okay? Then let's go down here below our view did load, and let's say text did change, and we're just gonna say print search text, okay? So what that's gonna do is it's gonna print out whatever we're typing inside of that um, search bar now. So let's pull this up a bit. And if yours isn't open, it's gonna automatically open when you type in here. And if it's not, just make sure it's opening up. But basically, when we type in here, it should print it, right? But it's not because we haven't set the delegate. So what we have to do is actually say search controller. And since it's a search controller, not a search bar, we can't just say search controller dot delegate is equal to self because that's the UI search controller delegate. We have to say UI search controller, or we have to say search controller dot search bar. We're getting the UI search bar inside of there and setting the delegate of that. And we'll say dot delegate is equal to self so that it will look for the methods in this file or attached to this view controller rather. And then it's going to call this every time we type in that search bar, okay? So now when we type into it, you should see the text you're typing, okay? So this is interesting because now you can implement this into one of your apps and you can say like, okay, I want it to filter what it, like my data, right? You could say like let data is equal to and then like have an array of data, right? And then you could basically just change the data based on whatever you're typing in the search bar, okay? So that's it for this video. I uh, want to keep them under 10 minutes if possible. But if that um, if that helped, leave the like, leave a like and subscribe and comment. And uh, most importantly, if you came here to actually figure out how to filter something in a search bar or something, because I could see that being very likely, uh, leave a comment down below and tell me. Uh, and if you dislike it, tell me why you dislike it. And I'll make the changes. I'll upload another video showing you what you want to do. And uh, I'll, I'll get you what you need, all right? So yeah, uh, just go ahead and uh, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Thank you.